In the equation above, b and c are constants. If b is c minus 1 half, which of the following is true? The first thing I'm noticing here is that in both equations, they just don't seem to be written very well. I agree with that. I'm going to rewrite these equations. I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to say b is equal to 2x minus 7. Do you notice how I'm just subtracting over the 3x? I'm going to do the same thing for this one, minus 7. There's a much easier way than how he did it. Well, I know that b is c minus 1 half. I'm going to write this in math. b equals, is means equals, c minus 1 half. And every time I see a b, that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to write, this is my top equation coming down, c minus 1 half, which is b, is equal to 2x minus 7. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add 1 half over on this side. c is equal to 2x minus 6.5, right? I'm adding 1 half. What am I going to do now? I'm going to bring back this first or second equation, c is equal to 2y minus 7. And now I have two equations that are equal because they're both defined as c. So I'm going to set them equal to each other. 2x minus 6.5 is equal to 2y minus 7. I'm trying to figure out what x is, right? All my interests of x is. So I'm going to add 6.5 over to the other side. 2x is equal to 2y plus 6.5 minus 0.5. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So the easiest way to do this problem is just figure out what does x minus y equal to. Then we can very easily add y to the other side, and then you're going to figure out what we want to know. Easiest way to do this is put everything in terms of one another, which means that if we have the relationship b is equal to c minus 1 half, what we want to do is put everything in terms of c just because it's easier. First things first is I'm going to plug in this relationship for b back into equation number one, and this is what we're going to get. Now all we want to do is just solve for x so we can get x by itself because remember, Remember, we just want x minus y plus c over 2 is equal to x. And then all you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and multiply this by 2 over 2 because of the LCD. So 2 over 2. That's going to be 13 over 4 is equal to x. You already have it in terms of c. All you need to do is just solve for y by itself. So I'm going to erase this and I'll make it so that it's easier for you to see what y is. We have the y. We just found out what x is. Now we just need to do x minus y and figure out what that constant is on the right side. Very simple now. All we need to do is multiply this side by 2 over 2. That's going to be all over 4. That is your missing constant. x is equal to y minus 1 over 4, which means that a is your answer. Summer is your secret weapon for SAT domination, and most students waste it. But my proven study system turns those eight weeks into a 1500 plus score, and I break down the exact strategy in one of my YouTube videos. Just comment the word summer, and I'll send it over to you for free.